Hi, this is Pastor Rick. The United States of America just recently had an election and we're in the process of preparing for a transition of leadership. Um, there are some people who are excited about this in a positive way and other people are excited about it in a very negative way. And I want to suggest to all of us Americans that we ought to do something in common to bring us together. You might ask, well, what is that? Well, my suggestion to you is uh, that we ought to pray. And um, let me read a passage of Scripture. I'll try to explain some of what it means. It's in Second, uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1. It says, Therefore I exhort, first of all, that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, including for kings and all who are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and reverence. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior, who desires all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. So, if we want to have a quiet and peaceable life, that's yet to be seen, but if you want to have a quiet and peaceable life, I would suggest and encourage that you and I spend our time praying for those in authority over us. It is a fact that we aren't able to really influence other people very much to make a change in their behaviors, but God is. Trust me, he's able. He can turn the heart of a king or president or a congressman or a senator or a governor or a judge or even you or me, which is probably harder. <laughs> and he says uh, that we're supposed to give thanks. One of the things that some people are having hard to, a time doing right now is to give thanks for much of anything, especially for the leadership that's just been elected. But I actually am just thankful that God is in control, and I'm not. I'm thankful that God has called upon us to humble ourselves and to pray and ask Him to do what we cannot do, which is turn the heart of a king or a president or a leader. And I also think it's wise to do so because I would like to enjoy a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and reverence because that's good. Um, if you want to have peace, if you want to have prosperity, if you want to have um, a safe life and be able to make a difference in this world, I would suggest take your energy and redirect it to God in prayer and submit yourself to Him. You might and I know I will be surprised and amazed at the things God can do with anyone who submits himself or herself to him. So, will you join me in prayer? Let's, let's just stop for a second and pray together. Heavenly Father, we come before you and we say there are things going on in our nation today which some like, some don't like. Some are happy about it, some are angry. That's not going to work. Lord, forgive us for not stopping and remembering. We're supposed to pray for all those who are in authority over us. And I pray that you would speak to them, that you would turn their hearts, that they might know your will and your purpose in every matter. I pray for every uh, the president, for the members of the cabinet, for the Congress, both the House and the Senate. I pray for all the Supreme Court justices and all the other leaders in our land I pray, Lord, that you might bring your conviction upon them and turn their hearts to your will and your ways in every matter. I pray the United States of America could be united again and realize we got a lot to be thankful for. So uh, I pray you just pull us all together because actually the rest of the world is looking to us to lead and to be strong and to be stable for the benefit not of ourselves only, but the entire world. We thank you for listening and answering. In Jesus' name, amen.